Namaste. Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jam Family. I'm Anjali. Ham Ache Hey Kai Say Hey Up. And today we're going to be reacting to another Tariq Fatah's uh, speech. And this one's short. It's just a little bit about um, not naming your children after brutal invaders of India. Um, we know we've done a couple of his other speeches. My husband listens to him a lot. We love these people that are proud Indian supporters that, you know, and especially because he's a Muslim and he is very proud of India's history and he talks so much about taking a marker, taking some black paint and all these invaded, you know, invaders that are named, train stations are named after them, like blacking them out and naming them after important people of India that have done good, not who have come and thou slaughtered thousands and hundreds of thousands of people in the name of nobody knows what, some in the name of religion, some in the name of just conquering the world. That is not what you want cities names, street names, your children's names after. You want to name your kids after great heroes of India, you know? Mm -hmm. We've been learning a few on this channel, but these are the people you want to say, I want my kids to be like this. I want my kids to have, you know, positive look on life. Don't name them after traitors. Don't name them after terrorists, basically, barbarians. You know, there's so many hundreds of thousands of names out there. So let's see what Tarek Fatah has to say about this. Ready? Chale, Pakistan ke ke baat chhod de. Hamare yaan badi popular actress hai Karina Kapoor. Ji, unke baare mein aapne ka jahil hai. Oh, tu nahi hai. Bete ka naam rakh diya uh, Temur. Yeah. Jahil nahi hai to ka. Temur jis jo wahid shakhs hai dunia mein jis ne apni zindagi mein dunia ki abadi 3% kam ki. Jis ne Hindustan pe hamla kiya. Or her course, yeah, this course, get them. Any wild post, their child to more anymore. Living pyramid banaya Hindu ki kopriuga. Knowing his history, I'm not a new Hindu. Mujet Ashara, eh? Give me a mulpehamla karako yadmi. Apke Patanisha Mila Tego, Kyaket Yungi, Kistaipa beta Janamdia, Usin Ramrak dia Temur. Ap Ap Jake, Israel make a Hitler Ramrak Ziga. Raki Jake. ये तो आप लोग हैं पता नहीं बर्दाश्त कर लेते हैं मैं एक बात आपको बता मैं पाकिस्तान के टीवी पर कमेंट्री देख रहा था जब आपने ये वाला कमेंट किया तैमूर के बारे में हाँ. तो उन्होंने कहा कि स्पेन में जो कब्जा करने वाले एक मिलिट्री कमांडर का नाम तारिक बिन जियाद था हां तो आप अपना नाम बदलेंगे क्यों नाम तारिक तो है संस्कृत से तरक ये आपको देखिए तारिक फतेह इज सो राइट लाइक या all the names in all the books you could have chosen. You picked that one. You pick the invader's name that came to India and killed hundreds of thousands of people and stacked skulls up as high as a mountain. Like, why? So yeah. many other names you could choose from. And, like, your child's not going to have any friends or anything because they know that one person, like... There's so many other names you could have picked. Mm -hmm. So many other names. Yeah. You know, uh, and these, Karina Kapoor and Saik Fali Khan, they are big names, you know, in Bollywood. They are great actors and actresses. We know this. This name, whether you, I don't know, like you think, you're proud of the name, so you're proud of the history behind it. You picked it because of the meaning behind it. But there if are it, other names with that meaning. Yeah, so it means iron or strong. You wanted a strong name for your son. I get that. But so many other names you could have chosen. So many other, you know, Muslim names, Arabic names, Indian names. You could have picked a name that had the same meaning and wasn't the name of the invader that came and killed mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of people and destroyed parts of India. Like, I don't, I don't really understand it. Like, I... I definitely don't understand why there are railway stations named after these people and, you know, buildings and street signs. Like, 
I, we understand a little bit behind the, you know, negationism and how there's been a little whitewashing of history in India. And so people mm-hmm. don't know the 100% truth. But even still, this stuff, I mean, we know about this invader. Yeah. Like, so you can't say being a big Bollywood star that you don't know the history behind this name. And like Anji said, your kid's going to go to school. So when we pick names for Anjali and Jaden and Noah, they all have an Indian name. They all have an American name. We picked meanings that, that we felt were strong or had good meanings behind them. But... I also, being a teacher, was like, I want something that people can pronounce well because they're here in the U.S. I want something that has good meaning. I want something that other children are not going to butcher and turn into a funny name to make fun of them. So if I married, my husband is Hindu, but if he was a Muslim and we were living here in the U.S., all of our neighbors voted for Trump, and we decided to instead name him Jaden. We named him uh, Osama bin Laden. I don't think we would have any friends, and I don't think anybody around us would be nice to us. Not only that, the kids in school learning about, you know, 9/11, learning about all that stuff. The first person they're going to turn to is him, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. It's going to be made fun of, and then. If he does something terrible, people are going to say, oh, it's karma. You gave him a bad name from a bad person, and so that's his fate. You've lined it up already for him. And I bet most teachers pick favorites most of the time. They don't tell us. They try try not to, but they do. But I'm sure it would be hard to smile at somebody that in your head you're like, this name is a traitor. This boy is not a traitor. It's not his fault, Mm -hmm. but... He represents somebody who came to India and tortured and killed and was a barbarian, a.k.a. terrorist, what today's, you know, definition would be. Why would you name your children after this? And especially being such a high person in the media and then not say, like, you know, we have this reason because everybody knows who he is. Everybody knows Tamor was an invader, a barbaric invader who killed hundreds of thousands of people. So out of all the names in the books, everywhere, of, that could have been uh, religious, could have been, I mean, Abdul Kalam. I mean, there's so many names and, and I get having, you know, a strong meaning behind it. You know, Jaden's middle name is Amar. It means immortal. I love that. And I think that's why he never gets hurt. (laughs) I do. I believe it. It, You know, the gods have touched him, little Krishna. You have to know this as a parent. This was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And I didn't think it would be that hard. Pick a name for your beautiful baby. It's harder than you think. But don't pick a barbaric name. Don't pick a name of an invader, a terrorist. Hitler, that would be my next one. Like, don't do it for no. your sake of yourself, and for the your sake child. of your child. Think about their growing up with their this future. name. Yeah. So enough with us on our banter. I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.